Okay, I look. I'm in. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new here, hi, my name is Liz. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. As you can see by the title, it is a holiday video. Yes, I am going on holiday in autumn, but we move. We are excited. I go away in two days less than two days technically it is currently monday and we fly early wednesday so we got a lot of shit to get done so this video is going to be a mix of prep with me and pack with me because i feel like i don't know everyone's over the holiday vlogs um it's autumn winter coming up so it is autumn <laughs> it's october it's october the 4th october the 4th and I'm so excited to go on this holiday. We are flying to Cyprus on the 6th, so two days, like I said. And we're actually going there for Connor's mum's wedding. But yeah, we're going over there for 10 nights and I'm super excited. Connor's mum and brother's family are over there right now. They went on Saturday. So yeah, I need to get used to this vlogging and holding it up again. Um, but yeah, they flew out on a Saturday, <laughs> they've been there for two days already, but I thought I'd vlog this and yeah, just show you what I'm taking, what I am packing and how I'm prepping. So if you want to see what I get up to and how I pack and stuff like that, then keep on watching. went to town today to try and find a book um so i want to read the agatha christie series books i wouldn't call them a series but you know she does murder mysteries ordered one from amazon which is the crooked house because i've heard so many good reviews on that one i've been watching youtube videos and everything to know the best one. So I want to read the ABC murders as well and I've also ordered the murder on the Ex Orient Express I think it's called because everyone reads about that and also the pack of cards is it? I can't remember but that was like two pounds so I'm gonna decide which ones I'm gonna take on holiday. I'm thinking of taking two. Um, I can't see me reading a hell of a lot on holiday because we love to go on excursions. So stuff that i've already done to prep for holiday getting into the video i have done my lips so i had one mil put into my lips a couple of weeks ago and they are love them love them so much um obviously they have gone down a little bit and i won't be getting any more in them now for a good while but i wanted them done for the wedding and photos and stuff like that and i just feel a whole lot better with them so that's done and also one thing i said i would never do don't we all i've had a few sunbeds yes your girl has had some sunbeds because the wedding is two days after we get there so we fly on the 6th and we the wedding is on the 8th but connor's thinking it's on the 9th but i know it's on the 8th if i'm wrong then i'll put it in but i know i'm not anyway so everyone else has had some sunbeds and obviously some of them have gone already over there and i don't want to be looking pale so i've had six now i think i've had two six minutes and then four is that right yeah four eight minutes and i think for my last one i was going to do ten but i'm thinking of just doing eight but we'll see so i'll take you along with that tomorrow is our last one and um, because we've done it so the last one ends on the day before we fly so i will take you along to that later on in the video but anyway i don't know how long this video is going to be with me ranting by here but what I'm going to do today is I need to wash all these clothes. So I've got all of these for holiday. I will go through them when they're washed and when I'm packing. Let you know my favourite pieces. I also need to sort out all that. Oh my gosh. 
look at it all but yeah i'm gonna sort my room out like i said it's a mess and i will get back to you in a bit Okay guys, we are getting somewhere. I have nearly finished the first, well, the first wash of clothing. My colours are nearly done. They're just on a spin. Um, now I am doing my toiletries. Now I've got this little set here from Primark. So I'm going to fill that with my toiletries and I ha actually have quite a lot. Um, I'm lucky enough to obviously work for a makeup skincare brand and we get gift if you don't know what gift is. So gift comes twice a year in certain stores and I was in a house of Fraser. Obviously my last day was yesterday <laughs> and I'm now going to Boots which is just amazing. Um, but anyway I'll speak to you more about that when I am home. <laughs> Um, but luckily enough for me, I get these little travel size because we can take, we can sign off like a gift every time we're on gift. So, I have got quite a lot. So, like I said, I'm lucky enough to receive, but majority of this stuff I have bought myself. Um, to begin with, let's go over here. So this is sunscreen. I haven't got all my sun cream here because it's at Connor's. Um, Connor's going to be packing most of our sun creams, but I've got this Clinique mineral sunscreen. So this is for like sensitive skin and it's SPF 50. So I will be applying that quite a lot. Um, I bought this off my staff store and thought, you know, why not take it? Then I got this because I've seen a lot of people raving about it, aka Rachel Leary. It's the Super Goop Glow Screen and it is only SPF 30. I mean, I say only, that is quite a lot. So I can't wait to use that. And then we've got an oil. So this is the Hawaiian Tropics Protective Dry Oil, Dry Spray Oil in SPF 8 because we have been having those sunbeds and stuff. So um, we're going to be using that probably for the last couple of days. And then up here I've got my hair stuff. So of course I've got my shampoo and conditioner. I've seen this on, oh my god, who was it? Emily? Someone, YouTuber. She went away and she had these. So I thought I'd get that to protect my hair. I won't be washing my hair that much to be fair. A little bottle of hairspray. I think Connor is taking a big one, but just take that just in case. And then also she was raving about this. This is the Charles Warrington Takeaways Sunshine Protect UV Protect Leave-In Spray. So basically it's for holiday and it helps with the sun, heat. And of course my love, this is the Moroccan oil. Absolutely love this. I've got a razor. This I've had for quite a while. I don't know if it still works. But this is the Nivea SPF 30 lip balm and it's waterproof so I'm going to take that. Then I've got some hand sanitizer. So I've got the Carmex moisturizer. So it's got a moisturizer in there. I've got two of the Body Shop ones. Then over here I've got my teeth. Okay. <laughs> so I've got toothpaste, toothbrush, mouthwash. I've got some, like we've seen these in Primark, breath refresher and floss. And obviously some airwaves, some chewing gums. Then I've got some deodorant, obviously a travel size to keep in my bag for when we do excursions. Some roll-on. And then I seen this in Asda and I just had to get it and I sprayed it when I got home. Oh my god, summer in a bottle. It is new and it smells like coconuts. Definitely recommend that. Dove is the best. Then I have some fragrances. So I've got Nick My Happy. This is the Lily of the Beach. So nice. It is sort of like a sunscreen smell, but I absolutely love it. it smells like coconut and summer holiday. My lovely colleague, used to be colleague, Sarah on Estee Lauder, she said that she had one of these at home and she gave it to me for a holiday slash leaving present and oh, I love it so much. Um, I doubt she'll be watching this, but this is the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder, the 50 mil. Let me just get it out. This is definitely a summer fragrance. It just looks like that. Absolutely beautiful. 
and she hasn't even used any of it so thank you so much to Sarah again she won't be watching this but and then I've just got this from again my last holiday the Hawaiian Tropics Golden Paradise fragrant mist so yeah that's just for maybe daytime and then we're going on to more skincare so I've got two makeup removers so I got the Clinique take the day off makeup remover for lids lashes and lips and of course I'm taking the Clinique take the day off balm absolutely essential then I have my face wash so again little mini the liquid facial soap in mild this which is the Clinique all about skin rinse off foaming cleanser these are so essential for holiday I wish I started using these because they're a seven day thing so you use one every day for seven days and it makes your skin so bright and fresh absolutely love them they're powder form and you put them on the palm of your hand with a bit of water amazing definitely recommend these and then I have the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask so this you can use as a five minute mask or you can just apply this overnight I normally just apply it overnight but if I feel like my skin needs extra hydration on holiday that's why I'm taking that for the evenings then I've got the Clinique Moisture Surge this is the older one now but I need to use it up so I may as well take that with me um it's now 100 hours instead of 72 but that's that and I got a little mini I could take that in the day time or something like that then I've got the Clinique 96 hour concentrate so this is the eye concentrate absolutely love this under makeup so I'm going to take that here I have the Clinique clarifying lotion in number two so this is a great form of exfoliation liquid exfoliation I only use that for nighttime that's just a little mini that I had in a set then I've got the moisture surge lip balm mini again I'm just going to apply this throughout the day keep that in my bag for all essentials then I have the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream and I have heard so many people raving about this and I'm definitely going to try this on holiday and I've also got the matching serum so this is the True Serum Collagen Boost with True C Complex and then I am going to take the Hawaiian Tropics After Sun because if you haven't smelt this then you're missing out this is literally what I take on holiday all the time so I'm going to take a big bottle of that just in case and then I'm going to decant this this is the Soap and Glory Buff and Ready Coconut Body Scrub I did not know they did this until the other day when I went in there um, I say the other day it was probably a couple of months, weeks ago I'm going to put these maybe in these two little things just in case I feel like my body needs a scrub on holiday you know can never be too prepared and then also the matching body wash so the coconut body wash so I'm going to put them in here which we bought from Primark and then last but not least I've got the Tony and Guy alt spray texturizing spray love this for beach waves so I'm going to decant a little bit of that into those because this is 200 mils and I don't need to take that big bottle so I'm going to do this and I'll be back. Okay, so we are getting some progress going. It is currently half past one. Also, my book, my book has arrived from Amazon. Like I said, I don't know if I said, um, I'm going to get more from W. H. Smith tomorrow because I did next day delivery online, delivered to the store. And yeah, I've got the Agatha Christie Crooked House book. The other ones I've ordered are actually in a different sort of, they've got the books on the back there 
Uh, they say that you don't need to read them in order, but I'm going to try and read all of them anyway. But yeah, now I am organising all of my makeup. So I just wanted to quickly run through all of this. So starting off with eyes, also got to wash all my brushes as well soon at some point. So I've got three palettes. I might only take this one and this one. So the top one is Revolution X Soap Palette, the first one she ever brought out. The one underneath that then is the Violet Voss Holy Grail Palette. Maybe take that one. And then the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Classic one. And then I've got three setting sprays. I might just take these two because I know this one helps to lock in and merge all the powders together and then this one is just a really nice mist and it's such a little cute mini so handy and you can refill it as well which is great this one I um, really want to take because I absolutely love it but we will see I've got some lip products of course I've got Morphe Morphe Sweet Tea here I've got MAC Strip Down and a little Estee Lauder then I've got MAC peach stock yeah mac peach stock i've also got this these are amazing from clinique these are the chubby sticks from clinique and i absolutely love them this is heaping hazelnut it's just a nice nude shade um jordana t-shirt mmm mitchell or mmmm this this is amazing if you don't know this is the Clinique Black Honey lipstick and oh my god, if you haven't tried this or haven't seen it on TikTok, get to know because amazing. Then I'm going to take the P. Louise lip paint in Stark Naked base, I think they're called. Love that. Then I've got some lip glosses. I've got the Doll Beauty Insta Famous gloss, it's more of like a pinky nude. Then I've got Myth lip gloss by MAC. And then this I bought yesterday when we went to Cardiff in Morphe. This is new Make It Big Morphe Lip Plumper in the shade Posh Petal. Let me see if I can open this. Yeah, it's just a nice nude with sparkle in it, which I thought was really, really cute. So going back to the eyes, I've got, I forgot to mention these, the Beauty Bay glitters. Little tiny P. Louise base, which come with an order the one time. I got three peaches and cream pigments. I've got Gatsby, Disco and Nude and some glitter glue from NYX. Then I've got some mini mascaras. So I've got the High Impact from Clinique. I've got the Roller Lash from Benefit. That's a really nice natural everyday one. And then I have the Pretty Easy liner, liquid liner in brown from Clinique. Benefit 24 hour brow setter, so I see my brow pencil by Benefit, love this. I've also got a little sample size, the Benefit powder in number 6. This because I want to get rid of this, there's not much left now, the Colourpop No Filter. Also of course got my Piers Soap, obviously got a little mirror here. A little mini of the strobe cream by MAC. The Benefit Professionals. This I'm definitely taking. This is the Pink Honey Bronzing Face Frosting in Cookie Butter. And I've got the Mama Mitchell Blush, the Made by Mitchell in Can't Cope with Coral. Absolutely love these. Definitely taking that away with me. I've got the MAC Gimme Sun, of course. I've got two highlighters just for one when I'm more paler and then one when I'm tanned I've got the elf moonlight pearl which is gorgeous it's like a glow from within sort of wet look and same with this this is the wet and wild highlighting powder in precious petals love those two then I got the Milani baked blush in luminoso of course gotta take that and then I've got a new product which I recently did a review on the Trigwell cosmetics cheek and eye blush in probably lemonade how beautiful i got three concealers two of the same ones but in different shades the revolution conceal and define infinite concealer then i've got the clinique even better all over concealer and razor then i've got of course the 
Clinique dramatically different BB gel. This is like a tinted moisturiser that adapts to your own skin tone. So definitely taking that for no makeup makeup days. Of course, the Clinique Even Better Glow in stone. Again, for no makeup makeup days. And it's got FPF. And then this has got SPF in it as well. I was debating whether to take this one or the Clinique uh, CC cream. But I went for this one just because... You know, I want to keep the Clinique one, and I don't like to take too much expensive makeup away with me, just in case my uh, suitcase gets lost. But this is the Morphe SPF 30 Hydrating Tinted Moisturiser. I've got some lashes. I'm going to take the Trigwell Cosmetics and Emily Tembe lashes in Clout, because they seem to be a bit more fluffy and sort of natural looking. Dual Lash Glow, I need to get some more of this. Don't know when, don't know where. Two of the same lashes. So I've seen these again in that Emily, Emily's video. Um, the Allure three quarter length in number 008. They're just like half lashes and I thought they would be gorgeous. I've got two. And yeah, that is everything. Now I'm gonna wash my brushes. So it is now the next day, um, I've done quite a lot since, obviously I did like a time lapse of the sunbed, make over the sunbed, and my nails, absolutely love them, just got you know, nude ombre with a reverse, is it reverse, did she say, reverse French tip, love them. But they were very wedding-esque but now i am in connor's and we are just well i'm trying to sort my suitcases out they're over well one of them is this one and i've literally taken up the whole living room so yeah i am going to pack now this is what i'm dealing with so all of this yeah good job connor's mum isn't here but yeah I'm going to put you somewhere now and do a little time lapse and I'm also going to tell you a little bit about certain items that I've bought like you know the main ones that I am loving so yeah I can't get over these nails it's going to take a good getting used to but yeah okay so I'm going to please ignore the state of me my appearance it's been a hell of a day I'm in my dressing gown because I am cold um but i just wanted to show you a few things these i bought last minute these are from misguided and i am so glad i got them i was watching a few you know holiday vlogs and they definitely inspired me these are towel material shorts do you want me to put in mine or do you want to put in yours we have a loads of room in mine well save me some space babes yeah, these are from Misguided, and so are these ones. So I've got orange pear, because I thought summery, you know, and lilac. If you want to know, if you want any um, links for any of these products, then please do let me know down below, and I'll be more than happy to provide those. Also, best place I found for bikinis is either Pretty Little Thing or Shein. Shein do the most amazing ones. This one here that I've got. I was going to do a haul but I thought summer haul is a bit outdated now. Um, this one is really really nice. It's got a really nice high waist, high side. Definitely a go-to and you will see in this 
video in my holiday video as well vlog because I will be filming it of course um, the lilac is very in at the moment for me this one from Shein this is absolutely stunning love that it comes with high bottoms again obviously I've got a central white bikini also these shorts from misguided these are amazing they fit so nicely I did size up and I got a 12 because normally jean denim shorts are like really tight and I hate that feeling but I love the rip in these and I also love these ones these are from misguided again the Sarah Ashcroft collection again I sized up and they're a little bit less distressed but the sun sort of cream colour loved another essential I got this dress from misguided yeah misguided do you know what misguided is the best shop it's probably one of my favorite shops um online clothing brands um again that towel material absolutely love it I've been looking for a textured sort of white shirt I'm not going to unfold it because I've already folded it up and I can't bother to unfold it um oversized shirt for the beach, for the pool, bikini cover up, love it. These wide leg trousers, absolutely love these. These are from PLT. And then I also got these lilac ones from Misguided. Play by oversized shirt. Love these for beach cover ups. Also, I bought this. Now, this is from Zara. And I've seen it all over TikTok and YouTube and stuff. Absolutely beautiful bag so stunning so holiday-esque absolutely love that hopefully i'll get a lot of use out of that so that's definitely going in my hand luggage so i got these from i saw it first and you can get these everywhere so i got a light blue baby blue color and also a stone cream color also i got these from shein how stunning are those and they are actually really comfortable as well love them these are lovely as well i think i've did, done a haul showing these this is from um shein now on to the big hauled luggage i've got a molly may dress from plt i've got a dress from shein another one from shein i've got some backups as well just in case so this cute bag connor's mum bought us bridesmaids got all my jewelry and like accessory bits in there also connor's mum made us these bridesmaids obviously it's got my name on it and bridesmaid and the date because we've also got these which i'm gonna wrap up just to show you there's a nighty which we're all gonna get ready in and i'm hoping to do that tiktok you know where you see so it's got liz on the back and yeah it's just really really cute we also got this i don't know if anyone else has taken that but i am and we've also got some flip flops from primark that say bridesmaid and then the bride's got bride obviously Okay guys, so all I've got to do now, I am packed, I am just under 20 kilograms and I'm eight something on my hand luggage. Oh, I'm so relieved. I had to take out a few things but that's all fine, that's all good. I still need to do my eyebrows, I need to shave my legs, I need to shave everything. I'm also going to shave my face. My lips are looking big, love it. Um, you can see my freckles really badly on my face. That's from the sunbeds. But yeah, I'm gonna go to town now because I need to pick up. I need. I need to stop looking at the viewfinder. I'm so sorry. We're going to town now. We need to go to Asda, and then we need to pick up my books because I have ordered three more books. So I'm gonna go get my books and stuff, and I will see you a bit later when I do my brows. If I 
some good lighting. Let's put this up out of the way. Ow, I just scratched myself. Filming a little thing about my books. So we just went to town. I actually got my books. So I've got a choice of books. So I've either got this one. This one's quite light. So they're all Agatha Christie. It's like I said in the vlog just now. I need to stop looking at myself. I want to read all of the Agatha Christie books. So I've got Crooked House which looks good but I might not take that one. Cars on the Table, Murder on the Orient Express. This is potentially one of them because uh, it's quite small. And then the ABC Murders which sound re it sounds really good. It's going murder but yeah. I'm going to take these two I think. And these are in the same sort of category because they're in different, like this one is in Oh, this one doesn't see it. This one's got a whole new... Towel. <laughs> you got that on camera. <laughs> oh my god. Men. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> we are... Doing this. But I do want to do a face mask first. So this is the little mini um, Glam Glow... Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. So it just looks like that. Also, I'm going to be doing this. Hopefully, I don't burn myself. I also bought this one as well, which is the hair removal cream for bikini and underarm. Why not? Got them from Boots. What do you do with this thing? I have to read the instructions. Yeah, looks like that. I bought both of them because I thought I'm going to be using it again. The stings. Oh. Does it not smell nice? No. Oh. Yeah, but that might be your one because it's for men. This one actually might smell nice. So yeah, I'm going to use this as well in a bit. But I bought a fresh eyebrow dye in dark brown. I think this is the colour that I normally get. Later. Oh god, you're going to have to help me open this. Much, much later. Yeah, my nails are not going to open this. One hour later. Come on out. Then I add the activator, a few drops. Hello. Whoa. I normally start with the edge. This video is probably so long. I can't see I'm forgetting to me. I know. Can I leave those now? Where's my phone? 15 minutes. And I'll be back. Oh my god, they are dark, aren't they? I'm just going to get the spoolie. And rush a makeup wipe. I'm just gonna try and get as much off as I possibly can. There we are. Eyebrows are done. So what I'm gonna do now is my face mask. So if you can hear the washing machine washing machine washing machine in the background. This one is for brightening. I haven't used this one before, so hopefully it's okay. I don't know whether this is like a one, ooh, a one time use. I'm not sure. Ooh, it's got a bit of a scrub in it. Me likey. Ooh, I love its smell. Right, let's hope this doesn't break me out. Cause that would be devastating. Okay, so I am now going to leave that on for 15 minutes, so another 15 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, we are fresh, my skin is looking glowy, oh my god, it's so smooth. Okay, now I'm going to shave my face, but I'm going to use the Veet, it's this here. Sensitive Precision Face Kit removes peach fuzz and exfoliates. I don't even know if you should do this after or before what I just did, but anyway, you just turn it on. Can you hear that? What I do is try and focus it on one area of my face. Okay, some really bad lighting, but I'm gonna end this 
vlog here um i hope you enjoyed prepping with me the only thing i gotta do now is use my veet and that's it i'm done and also comment just gave me my prezzies for my birthday because we're away for my birthday I mean, most of the stuff is for holiday so yeah got me some crocs wearing those to the airport got me this so yeah really hope you enjoyed this vlog stay tuned for my holiday vlog which will be up very soon after this probably the next video and yeah if you aren't already then please consider subscribing to my channel Give this video a big thumbs up if you love holiday vlogs and you're looking forward to autumn, winter now. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!